What is concrete slump? Well, concrete slump refers to the testing and measurement of the viscosity of a concrete mix. When you add water or super plasticizer or water reducer to a concrete, you end up with a placement viscosity somewhere between dry like you'd build a sandcastle with and self-leveling or just something that essentially looks like water. When you order concrete, you want to be able to order predictable results. Like if you needed that really dry mix we were talking about and it shows up self-leveling, that's going to be a problem. And you would communicate by describing the concrete slump that you need. When you're talking about slump, you're talking about an actual test. They make a cone of concrete, pull the lid off the form, and however much the concrete physically slumps, that refers to the amount of slump the concrete has. So that really dry, dry sand-like slump where we could build a sandcastle out of it might have zero slump or close to it. A dry pack mortar would have zero slump. A slump test will measure an amount from zero to five inches. Whereas if you're talking about that self-leveling concrete that we were talking about earlier, that would be a slump flow test, which isn't going to measure the amount of vertical height lo lost, more so as the amount of horizontal movement of the puddle of self-leveling concrete that you have. For the average do-it-yourself person working with concrete and trying to understand slump, it's not something that you're going to need to deal with a lot, other than you want to understand the terminology. That zero slump refers to a very dry mix, one inch, two inches of slump is a very common amount you'd use for normal placement viscosity that you might be f familiar with for flat work concrete applications. I mean, some companies prefer a slump of five inches or six inches just to help with the placement, not have to work it so hard to get the concrete level. Some places would prefer to work with a drier slump consistency and then consolidate it with things like manual vibration. For the do-it-yourselfer, now you understand how slump works and that it's measured in inches. It refers to a cone of cement which is created, and then we measure the amount of viscosity in the concrete such that you can articulate it to other people, contractors, mix designers, ready mix concrete suppliers, so that you get the type of concrete that you need for the project that you're working on.